All right, in this example, we're given this series of one, two, three, four, five terms. So we have five terms, and we want to write this instead of a series, we want to write this with summation notation. So when we're all done, we want to have this here, we'll just write it over here. We just want to have this big E, and oh, that's goofy looking, but that'll work. This big summation notation, and we want to go from k equals 1 to k equals 5. I know 5 because I have 5 terms. So what you need to do is you need to look at the terms here, and you need to see what's constant and what changes. So I notice that the 3 in the numerator is always in the numerator. That never changes. So in my formula here, I can have a 3 because that never changes. Okay. So then in the denominator, I'm looking to see how everything is squared. So no matter what it is, it's eventually squared. So that part goes into my formula. Now I got to put the stuff in here that goes in here. So think of this as k equals 1, k equals 2, 3, and 4, and 5. And the part inside is 2, and likewise when the second term, the part inside is 3. The third term, the part inside is 4. The fourth term, the part inside is 5. And the last term, the part inside is 6. And then you look at this. Here, let me circle it. You look at this and you say, how can I go from the k equals 1 to the 2? Well, I could have that be 1 plus 2. And if k equals 1, then that could be k, oop, not plus 2, plus 1, back up, back up, back up, there we go, there we go, it's 2 plus 1, so 1, there's 1 plus 1 is 2, that gave me 2, and this 1, well, that's really my k, so it looks like this could be k plus 1. Let's see if it works for this set right here. So if k is 2, so I would let that be 2, because k, k equals 2, and then if I add 1 to it, do I get 3? Yep, and then let's look at this one, see if this one works. So if k equals 3, and if I add 1 to it, do I get 4? I do. So it appears that that works, k plus 1. So it's kind of um, not big magic trick to it at this point. It's just taking a look at and evaluating that and making a formula. So when I'm all done, this summation notation is equivalent to this series right up here. Okay, that's the end of this lesson.